Hey folks, Dr. Mike here, Charlie Jung, Jared Feather. We're here at IFBB Pro Derek Oslin's Lex Appeal Gym in Tampa, Florida. It's warm, it's sunny, there are palm trees and suffering because we're gonna do our Tuesday leg workout. We're gonna start with seated leg curls, then we're gonna go into a lever squat machine that even has its own nickname because it's hurt people before. And uh, then we might do a few lunges, we'll see. Let's get started. Hey folks, we're starting out with seated hamstring curls. We're probably gonna do them some combination of straight sets and myo reps. A lot of times we start with a straight set and then the sets after that are myo rep sets. We do two or three little rest breaks for two or three seconds to get more effective reps in. Just a way of doing things, doesn't have to be the way. You may ask why God's name, we're starting with an isolation movement and we're starting with hamstrings on a lower body day. Well, the thing is, a lot of times when we try to do hamstring second after our main quad movement, we're so systemically fatigued, we can't really do hams any justice. But if we do hams first, it doesn't really interfere with our primary quad movement at all. And we actually feel a little bit warmed up and the hams are sort of out of the way. That's the rationale. You don't have to use it yourself. Give it some thought. Let's do some hamstring curls. Wow, I was gonna have some shit to say about that set. Yeah. You could have done 80 trillion more. Hey, Lyle McDonald, fuck you. You know how to train a failure, Mike. <laughs> it's sad. Mike thinks he can train a failure, but he really can't. Sad to see him literally fly. He doesn't know. Hey folks, lever squat time. This particular machine is a little out of this world. It's leveraged real crazy. So we might get up to two plates on each side on it because that's how heavy the machine is. And you can put your feet exactly where you want, ball or quad stretch at the bottom. It's tough to beat a really, really good lever squat like this. Um, yeah, fun times ahead. IBB Pro, Derek Oslin, uh, Derek Weapon X Oslin, and uh, one of the owners of FAM Tampa, which you are in currently. So this is our pendulum squat. Um, as you can see, the guys had three plates on here. Um, I think the most I've ever done on this thing is two and a quarter aside, three, uh, three plates. It's funny because I'll have people, you know, new to the gym, they, they know about this piece of equipment because no, really no one else in Tampa has it. And they'll come in and they'll think that, oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squat some heavy shit today. I'm gonna put four plates on here, five plates, let's do it. And I, I won't say anything, I'll just sit at the front desk. Oh, and man. And I'll just watch them. And I'm like, ah, this is gonna be great. I'll get other people to come over. And they, as soon as they unrack it, boop, all the way to the bottom. This is not a machine that you play around with. You start one plate aside, get your reps in, warm up add another plate to the other side and incrementally increase until you get to your working weight, which will probably not be four plates a side. It'll probably be like two. 
four yeah. one. <laughs> Charlie just did how many reps? Charlie Damn. did twenty two reps with three Monster. plates. Charlie's an eight hundred pound competition squatter. So chances are you're not doing that shit. I can't squat eight hundred pounds. <laughs> God damn. Doing my last set here, Charlie goes after. As soon as I get off this machine, it's my last set, third set. Go right into lunges because the quads are pre-exhausted. It can allow you to sum up more metabolites. The faster twitch motor units are fatigued. They're closer to failure. So you sort of get more effective reps out of lunges. Otherwise you'd have to load the lunges a lot. It's a pretty safe way to do things, not the only way. Maybe you can give it a shot in your own training. The bigger and stronger you are, the bigger your quads are, the more lactate they summate and the less they release, the better such supersets work. Otherwise, it's just junk volume. So if your endurance sucks, like ours is what I'm trying to say. I mean, honestly, that's kind of rude, right? I'm trying to do a talk here to you guys, our YouTube crew, and he's fucking throwing up. Uh, some people just weren't raised right. So I'm gonna do a set of 24 lunges as soon as I got get right off this machine. Why 24? Because the week, two weeks ago I did 20. Last week I did 22. This is 24. Always incremental progress, deload, repeat. Let's get to it. Charlie, Wendy's challenge later. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Tuesday, leg day number one in the books. As you can see, no one really knows where they are at this point. Big thanks to Derek Austin, IP Pro, letting us use his gym in Tampa. Phenomenal. If you're ever in Tampa, this is the place to be. Hardcore equipment, incredible. Messed us up. What we're gonna do now is go eat, then we're gonna rest a little bit, do some work, and then we have a PM session, session number two, not legs related. It's gonna be shoulders, arms, bit of forearms. I know it's crazy, but the work needs to get done. See you guys in a bit.